Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Point and Fail. Have I mentioned how porntastic this music is? Like seriously, this is not your normal family get together music going on here. This is like, this is some slow jams. Anyway, I'm gonna make some cookies. <laughs> Cookies! Okay, let's read this recipe. <laughs> ah, one cup of love, a half a cup of generosity, two cups of commitment, one cup of sweetness, a half a cup of integrity, a tablespoon of romance, a teaspoon of sensuality, and one common sense. <laughs> Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> In a bowl, cream together generosity and sweetness and love. To give your man a sweetheart. To give him devotion. Simply sift together commitment, sensuality, and romance. Blend devotion to his sweetheart. Finally, add intelligence. A mix of common sense and integrity. And beat with the rest to make your perfect man. Give him a form and place him in the oven. Remember not to overcook. I feel I feel a little dirty now. <laughs> so, um, for those who don't know how to make cookies, <laughs> you're going to be creaming, creaming together uh, butter, sugar, and milk. And then you're sifting together the flour, cinnamon, and ginger, apparently. And then you beat one egg and some molasses. It's good times. It's good, good times. Mouse, come back here. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Okay. So. First. Place in the mixer bowl. One half cup. Yes. Of butter. Put the butter... Oh, <laughs> yes. And one cup of brown sugar, which should be this. And one cup of milk. And mix. Add to bowl two cups of flour. Flour. Oh, I should probably dump this one first. <laughs> one. <laughs> two. One teaspoon. Teaspoon? Teaspoon. Of cinnamon. And one tablespoon of ginger. Um, and then uh, mix, mix, mix. Add to bowl one egg. Take the shells off first, though, and half a cup of molasses. That's not what molasses sounds like. Also, that's a lot of fucking molasses. And then mix. Click on oven. This tastes right. Ooh. Dad, the cookies are in the oven. Now, I don't remember exactly how you are supposed to know what all this is supposed to be. I don't know, I don't remember if it's in a book somewhere or if you're just supposed to know how to make cookies and guess. But there you go, that's how you make cookies. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> well, let's go back to Grandpa's journal. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, where are you? Where, where are you going? <laughs> Go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Go in your room. 
Shut up, train! <laughs> Ooh. The poor kid was badly scarred. The killer stabbed it's, seven it's times. It's a top hat, the man. The so the so many top headed people. Brought her here. Sorry. She's only 16, for God's sake. Mm. I promised her that I'd help her in any way also, I could. Also, her name is Vladimir. So she opened up and Aww. told me her story. Can I keep this? Yes. She's so little and tiny and has a big black eye. I'm Gustav McPherson. I'm a it private. Is Gustav. Find I knew it. You. <laughs> I'm Vladana Tominova. I haven't said that in a long time. I'm usually just Vladana. Do you feel up to a few questions? I can always come back later. No, that's okay. I'm playing a game. You can ask me questions if you wish, but <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be much help. Stupid train. Besides the sketch you gave me, can Jesus you Christ. Your attacker with a, a little more detail. The top hat was black, and so was his cloak. The mask was silver white. It had motifs on it, but nothing I can describe accurately. I have much apologies for the train noise in the background. Apparently, the train is running down the major highway. <laughs> when were you attacked? About two months ago. Where did it happen? It happened near the park. Oh no. I was coming back from Mark's studio. Who's Mark? Who's Mark? It was very foggy that evening. Oh wait, no, I know Mark. I heard someone walking it's Mark Ackerman. Me. You know, the painter that my closer, boyfriend, closer. who is just happened to have a I stopped when I suddenly saw a silhouette uh, appear thing behind the fog. At the a man in a gallery. Sorry a for the noise. Was standing in front of me. I froze. I froze. I couldn't move. I was absolutely terrified. What happened next? He uh, approached. Slowly. Punched me in the face. I noticed that he was wearing a mask when he walked out of the fog. He looked like death itself. Hmm. I hadn't noticed how close he had come to me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He took a swift swing at me. As he did, I let out a scream. At first I thought he had missed me, but then I noticed the metallic taste in my mouth. I put my hand to my face and looked at it. It was full of blood. Then I felt a cold sensation in my chest, followed by a sharp pain. Hmm. And then another. And then another. I screamed what seemed to be my last breath. I fainted after that. I woke up in here. He'd stabbed me over and over. It's a miracle I'm still alive. Yeah, no, seriously, how are you still alive? How did you end up here in this joint? Roman found me. He was the one who scared off the killer. He heard me screaming, so he ran in the direction of the commotion. I don't know much about that. You should ask him. I think I will. You mentioned earlier that you left Mark's place the night you were attacked. Who's Mark? Mark is a local artist. <laughs> Most of the girls know him. I think he's painted all of us at least once. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Was There's a joke coming. <laughs> was it business as usual? Everything as soon as I find his place. Inspector Skalnik showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Skalnik talked to Mark. What did they talk about? I didn't really well, first he said, Oh, uh -huh. But they were arguing about something. When Skalnik left, Mark told me to get dressed and leave. He told oh, me it's not that funny. Shut up, there. Was he angry? He was, but he made a good effort not to show it. So I left quietly without saying a word besides good night. So you said. Goodbye, Mark. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible, horrible person. In general, Mark was always nice. <laughs> yes, always cordial, very polite, and well behaved. He would give us double what we charge a client oh, for the time we spent posing. It was a lot better work, let me tell you. I only posed for him once, and I wish I could do it again. Hmm. Where can I find Mark? His studio is in front of the canal near the old wall. Well,. Thanks for answering my pesky what? questions. What? You're welcome. <laughs> Just take care of yourself, Ladena. And you be careful too. It's near the old Thanks. wall. You know, the old one. 
Can I look around? Can I, can I do anything? Okay, no. We're in chapter four. I don't know how many chapters there are. But there's... Who moved my boxes? I spent a lot of time putting those in a big old line. And you just move them out of my way. Ah, oh, jeez, guys. Um, oh, I don't need to go up there anymore. Are you Roman? Or are you the other one? You're gonna laugh and go, oh, Hi, oh, oh, oh. Well, that's Peter. Seems you got away from raw meat. You name your dog raw meat? You know, sometimes when I'm playing a game, my capture stops. It just stops. Right in the middle of my game. So that's what happened here. Trust me, you didn't miss much. I talked with Peter. I talked with Roman. I went to go find Mark. I made some room jokes. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I laughed at myself because I find myself hilarious. And then I went to the police station to go talk to Detective Skolnick. And that's it, really. But still, half of my video, just gone. Because the capture card said, ah, I don't think so. Not today. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye!